camera today. Um, what we're going to do is part two of our welding series uh, where I'm trying to learn how to weld. I've been doing a lot of research, talking to a lot of different people. So originally what I was going to do for the project was make a shelf, but well, honestly I don't really need a shelf. So I got a new lawnmower a little while ago, a Toro. So this is my old lawnmower, my old Murray. So what I'm going to do with this thing is I figure I don't need two lawnmowers, but I don't want to throw this one out. The engine's been great, the lawnmower's been great, it's about 25 years old. Um, so what I'm going to do is weld the piece right into here. Because it rusted. No, yeah, yeah. Stuff rust, you, well, you can, yeah, it's rusted, you can see all the rust and everything on there. So what we're going to do, cut it out with the plasma cutter, weld another piece on there, and then I'll just take it and use this and either just donate it or give it to somebody because I don't need two lawnmowers. So what we're going to do, the first thing we got to do before we do anything at all, is we're going to go ahead and take the engine off of here, because obviously dealing with the metal sparks and everything, don't. And we got gas and oil in here, obviously don't have to tell you, it doesn't mix. Really? We're taking the engine off? Yeah, I think it's just three bolts. Right, so we're going right, to take it cool. off, and then we're going to actually pressure wash it, because you want to have nice clean metal for your weld. Um, pressure wash the underneath of it, um, kind of dress it up, get it looking nice. Then we'll go ahead, cut it out. Attach the new piece on there, and then uh, go ahead and we'll do it that way. And then again, this is my first time welding, so anybody who has done welding, any points you can give me, uh, stuff I've either done wrong or stuff I can do better, man, I'm definitely up for hearing about it uh, so I can improve my welding skills. So first thing we'll do, go ahead, let's just, we're going to go pull the engine off. Alright, we're going ahead, we took the motor off. Um, what we're going to do right now is I'm going to have to power wash this thing to get this nice and clean. Um, get all the grass. There's, if I can't see it, we'll show it to you. There's grass and stuff all in there. What we actually need to have is bare metal. So I'm going to get all, all the grass, everything off, and probably grind it down a little bit to get the bare metal. It's kind of like when you uh, um, do like copper pipe or anything like that. You have to have metal on metal in order for the bond to actually be good. Same thing with welding. So I'm going to go ahead and power wash this right now, and we'll uh, take it from there. All right, we went ahead and grinded it around the side where we're going to be cutting it. What we're going to use is a Miller Spectrum 375 Extreme, as you can see right here. Um, we're going to go ahead and cut right around this. What we're going to end up doing, because we don't have all the proper welding tools in it, we're going to actually put a piece of metal over it, so we're not going to actually have it fit inside of it, you know, make it nice and smooth. Um, I don't know the dynamics of mulching. I don't think it makes a huge difference, more uh, maybe look to it, but... We'll get it to look really nice, grind it down once we get the top on there and, you know, go ahead and repaint it and be all done with it. You said go around the No, that you're getting in a dirty area, that's why. You're doing good. No, you're doing really good, Chop. I wanna I'm curious to see how you're gonna weld. You're almost out of air, so it might stop, I'll let you know. Alright, as you can see, I cut this piece off. Um, what, we're gonna, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and grind it and dress it up, make it look a lot nicer. Again, this is my very first project doing, so it's not going to look probably the prettiest, and when I'm done welding, it probably won't look the prettiest, but uh, first project, and uh, give it a shot to see what happens. But the most important thing is really to get this down to bare metal, so when, we, when I actually do the welding, it's actually sticking. It's got something to stick on to. So I'm going to go ahead and grind, grind it away a little bit. Alright, what we did is just did a couple tack welds on here really quick. The reason being is because now we can form it to the actual contour of the deck. Um, tack welding, basically we're just, we are just hit a couple little spots so it stays in place um, while we actually bend the metal. What we're using is we're using this Miller uh, Matic uh, 211. It's the auto set. 
One thing you want to look at, it, I love this molder, it's a, it, this welder, it's great, especially for a newbie like me. One thing that I really read and I learned and actually just testing right now, is you can set it to the actual gauge uh, that you want to... Um, thickness of the metal. Thickness of the metal. Right now, we're using 22 gauge. I've actually got it set to 24 because I'm very slow. So just because you're using 22 gauge doesn't mean you have to set it to 22 gauge. It just actually helps with the speed. Right, especially on the so, light metals because you don't yeah, want to burn through. I don't, I don't want to burn through it. So that's why I've actually set it to the lowest setting because I'm very slow. I'm going to have to actually pick up the pace a little bit so I don't burn through it. So that's what's nice is you can gauge, you can move this um, the welding uh, material thickness around to wherever you want to. I do like this welder a lot. But what we're going to do right now... Let's go ahead and shape a piece of metal right here a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and I'm going to put weld all the way around this. Um, key to welding is obviously if you, go, you don't want to go too fast. If you go too fast, you're not going to get a good bond. You go too slow, like we're saying, you're going to cut through the metal. So you really got to find a good speed to go. Best thing that I found is actually get take a piece of this metal and just test it. Make on other material um, by welding it together to see what speed you can really go out and how to do it before you actually go through and weld this. So I went ahead and already did that. I figured out the speed that I can weld it and what I feel comfortable with. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish welding this on here. did the welding on it, you can see my hack job I did on it. Um, it's my very first welding job. I definitely learned a lot about it. Um, for one thing, I probably should have cut more of the metal out when I used the plasma cutter. Um, some of it was a little bit thin, so I burned through it a little bit uh, faster than normal. Um, that was the first thing. I tried the pull method and the push method. Um, certain times it was better. Just kind of hard to, 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 to really gauge, but... You know, for my, again, it probably doesn't look too pretty. This is my very first welding that I've ever done. So one thing I definitely learned is it's not only a science to it, it's definitely an art to welding on it. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and, which I probably won't show you, but I'm going to um, sand it up, go ahead and primer it and paint it, um, try to put it all back together. Um, but that's pretty much about it. Uh, I did learn, another thing I learned too is welding is fun, man. I definitely like it a lot. And... I have to say that the miller that I used, the, the machine, it was nice because I was dialing it down or dialing it up at certain times, so I do like the fact that God it's really, fat. Yeah, really user friendly. So Overall, for my first project, I don't think I did too bad. I know some of you guys who have uh, done welding for a while can laugh at this. And don't forget to check out uh, toolsinaction.com, sign up to our YouTube. Uh, if you like us on Facebook, you get a chance to win some tools. We give away tools. And also, don't forget our Twitter account. Toolsinaction.com. When one tool just isn't enough. <laughs>